हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एम्पलीफायर्स लेट्स एगेन एम्पलीफायर्स बेसिकली यूज इन एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट टू एम्प्लीफाय द सिग्नल दैट सिग्नल मे बी वोल्टेज करेंट और पावर व्हाट एवर मे बी द सिग्नल व्हेन एम्पलीफायर इज यूज्ड इन एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट इट इज एम्पलीफायज द इनपुट सिग्नल द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एम्पलीफायर्स एम्पलीफायर्स are classified on the basis of on the basis of use it is classified as to one is voltage amplifier and another one is power amplifier so what is uh, voltage amplifier as the name indicate it amplifies voltage it increases the voltage signal voltage level of signal on this same way power amplifier increase the power level of signal increases the power level of signal next classification on the basis of frequency range on that frequency range basis it is classified again into one as audio amplifier next radio frequency amplifier so what are uh, audio amplifiers these are used means that type of amplifiers are used to amplify in the audio frequency range that audio frequency range is the range between 
ट्वेंटी हार्स टू ट्वेंटी किलो हार्स ऑन दैट सेम वे रेडियो फ्रिक्वेन्सी एम्प्लीफायर्स आर यूज to amplify the signals in the radio frequency range that the radio frequency range in between above 20 kilohertz more than 20 kilohertz on that basis of frequency range we classify the amplifiers into two one is audio amplifiers another one radio frequency amplifiers next on the basis of कपलिंग मेथड्स ऑन दैट मेथड एम्प्लीफायर्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन थ्री डिफरेंट काइंड्स वन इज RC coupled amplifiers next impedance coupled amplifiers next transformer coupled amplifiers so what is rc coupled amplifiers it is that amplifier here the output of one stage is coupled to the input of next stage by a resistance capacitance network तो आर सी कपुल एम्प्लीफायर द आउटपुट ऑफ वन स्टेज इज कपुल टू द इनपुट ऑफ नेक्स्ट स्टेज बाय रेजिस्टर एंड कैपेसिटर नेक्स्ट इम्पेंडेंस कपुल एम्प्लीफायर हियर द आउटपुट ऑफ वन स्टेज इज coupled with the input of next stage by 
a high impedance stroke for that reason it is named as impedance coupled amplifier the output of one stage is coupled to the input of next stage by an impedance that impedance is high impedance stroke next type transformer coupled amplifier in transformer amp coupled amplifier the output of one stage is coupled to the input of next stage by a transformer for that reason it is named as transfer coupled amplifier on the basis of coupling method or in the accordance with coupling methods the amplifiers are classified as three one is rc coupled amplifier impedance coupled amplifier and last one transformer coupled amplifier next on the basis of mode of operation mode of operation the amplifiers are classified again three in numbers first one class a amplifiers next class b amplifiers next class c amplifiers so what one what is class a amplifier here the operating point is such that the operating point we drawn on that of dc low line so that operating point uh, is such that so the collector current the collector current flows full cycle of the ac signal next for class b amplifiers the operating point is such that the collector current flows for half cycle of that of input ac signal half cycle of input ac signal next for class c amplifier that operating point operating point q point or we call it as coefficient point is uh, such that so the collector current the collector current flows 
for less than half cycle of AC signal. On that basis, that is mode of operation, amplifiers are classified class A, class B and class C amplifiers. So, here with the help of this video lecture, we understand classification of amplifiers. So, amplifiers are classified on the basis of use as voltage amplifier and power amplifier. On that basis of frequency range, it is audio amplifiers and radio frequency amplifiers. Next, on that basis of coupling methods, these are RC coupled amplifiers, impedance coupled amplifiers and a transformer coupled amplifiers. On that basis of mode of operation, amplifiers are classified class A amplifiers, class B amplifiers and finally, class C amplifiers. What are the basic functionality of these amplifiers are discussed. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.